future of transportation technology brings the ultimate revolution in the transportation. It will be an interesting and exciting phase for the industry. Number 1. Gyroscopic Transport Gyroscopic transport would see enormous, disc-shaped vehicles swarm through the streets on wheels, elevated above traffic, and overlapping to form multiple layers of travel. A gyroscope is a device consisting of a rapidly spinning wheel or disc, mounted so that its axis can turn freely in all directions. As the axis turns, the wheel remains stationary. Inside, passengers sit in rows just like they would on a subway or bus. Alternatively, luxurious pods include comfortable couches and TV sets. The gyroscopes would be initially powered by flywheels wound up in the morning. Vehicles would continue to be powered throughout the day from energy supplied by solar panels. Overpopulation is a big problem, especially in big cities. And with everybody wanting to own a car, it will lead to more road congestion. But imagine a mode of road transport that can change its shape depending on the street or road it's traveling through, and you won't be too far away from describing gyroscopic public transport vehicle. Pods are stilted on expandable legs that can both contract and enlarge depending on the context, meaning they can pass under bridges. Now, when we think about the future of urban mobility, we only think about flying cars and aerial pods, right? And we obviously hope that future mobility will make road transport redundant. But that's not going to be the case. At least not in the beginning. As we transition from road to air-based transport, we will still need to solve the problem of rising congestion on land. Gyroscopic public transport can be a solution to that problem. What consists of a gyroscopic public transport? These are basically large pods that are hoisted on flexible legs that can expand as well elongate according to the traffic's demands. Pods are stilted on expandable legs that can both contract and enlarge depending on the context. Inside, passengers sit in rows just like they would on a subway or bus. Gyroscopes are generally used in airplanes and spaceships for compasses and autopilots and to maintain their alignment. Number 2 Transit Elevated Bus The TEB is a bus that straddles traffic by driving over the top of it, running along fixed tracks. Its main compartment is elevated, leaving the street clear for cars underneath. Transit Elevated Bus contains features similar to a light rail or subway system. It is often considered more reliable, convenient, and faster than regular bus services, loading passengers through the roof. Transit Elevated Bus was a proposed new bus concept, where a guided bus straddles above road traffic, giving it the alternative names such as, Land Airbus, or Tunnel Bus by international media. The idea of Transit Elevated Bus was proposed in 1969 by two American architects, Craig Hodgetts and Lester Walker, as a public transport concept called, the Boss Wash Landliner. Officially, the bus is called, the TEB TEB short for transit elevated bus already being tested in china as they are electrical powered and travel on a speed of 30 kilometers and 40 kilometers per hour on average tetech innovation city future transit elevated bus is an innovative high efficiency and low carbon urban transportation technology the Operations Control Center represents the operational center of the transport service where Avales software is used to manage inputs from Thievel S system. Relief of traffic congestion TEB, can save road space by utilizing the vehicle upper layer for passengers. The design can reduce 25% to 35% of congestion caused by BRT bus rapid transit, directly or indirectly. High efficiency and large passenger capacity Evacuation exit seats by alternating rows.
Number 3 Skyway technology allows one to build an innovative transport infrastructure at a price comparable to the cost of building a conventional railway. At the same time, Skyway routes are much better suited for harsh terrain and can be used both in a city and for long-distance transportation. Skyway String Transport, combination of proven technologies with innovative solutions, creates a completely new approach to the transportation of passengers and cargo. Continued construction of the string transport infrastructure in Sharjah and Dubai. Skyway high-speed transport speed is up to 500 km per hour. This is twice faster than the fastest Russian train, Sapsan. The Skyway urban transport reaches speed of 150 km per hour. This is twice as fast as buses. The track structure is above the ground, which increases safety by about 100 times. The anti-derailment system increases safety by another 10 times. The automated control system eliminates human factors. Skyway transport runs on electricity, therefore, significantly reduces harmful emissions into the atmosphere. The Skyway's entire transport infrastructure requires much less materials and raw materials than any other transport. Skyway can be built in any terrain with any climate, while preserving the natural ecosystem. The cost of building Skyway tracks is up to 20 times lower than the road construction of any other means of transport. Skyway claims that its small transport units with the capacity of 1 to 168 people can travel safely at intervals of only 2 seconds, thus providing a transport. Skyway speed up to 500 km per hour, span distance from 30 to 50 meters to 2 km up support height, 6 to 10 meters and more, maximum declivity 15% and more. Theunibus was the earliest of several computer bus and backplane designs used with the 11 and early VAC systems, manufactured by the Digital Equipment Corporation off Mannard, Massachusetts. The Unibus consists of 72 signals, usually connected via 236-way edge connectors in each printed circuit board. When not counting the power and ground lines, it is usually referred to as a 56 line. It can exist within a backplaner on a cable. Up to 20 nodes devices can be connected to a single unibus segment. Additional segments can be connected via a bus repeater. The bus is completely asynchronous, allowing a mixture of fast and slow devices. Number 4 Hydrospace Luxury jet skis are usually the sole domain of the prominent Japanese manufacturers. However, there may now be a European-made Challenger, the Hydrospace S4. This jet ski incorporates easy handling. The racy sound of its four-stroke two-cylinder engine gives it the superiority that others have long been looking for. With its power of 81 kilowatts, 110 HP, the S4 has a strong torque and fulfills all environmental criteria at the same time its load capacity and power reserves are outstanding. The motor is carefully being fit together by hand in our factory. Number 5 Tube London Tube trains have a driver's cab at both ends. When a train reaches the end of the line, it is switched to the opposite track, and the driver walks to the other end of the train to drive it back again. The new tube for London, the designs ditch the traditional carriage layout of existing tubes for one long, complete structure of finite length with air conditioning and Wi-Fi built in. The firm has produced two versions, one with the driver's cab and one that is driverless with seats running up to the front of the cab. A large window surrounded by a strip of curved light created using LEDs. Number 6. Hyperloop. Hyperloop train theoretically could bring passengers from city to city in less than 45 minutes. 
Traveling at the top speed of 760 miles per hour, Hyperloop concept could become the fastest way to travel. Hyperloop is a new form of ground transport that could potentially see passengers traveling at over 700 mph, 1000 kilometers pH. Experts say Hyperloop systems could be replacing air travel around the world within a decade and a half. Hyperloop is a super-fast, sustainable land transport system. Hyperloop transport infra is much cheaper than high-speed train. In an exclusive interview to Businessline, Giggle said Hyperloop's the system in which pods that can typically seat 28 people move at ultra-high speeds inside a vacuumous tube are cheaper because they are not wide and hence can be built anywhere. Like any form of transit, Hyperloop transport carries inherent risks, and contingencies for any unforeseen disasters still need to be engineered into the system. The concept gained popularity in 2013 when Elon Musk wrote his Hyperloop Alpha paper, and in November 2020, Virgin Hyperloop demonstrated its first passenger test ride. Virgin Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies RA, working to bring Hyperloop into a reality by 2030. But both of these US projects won't be complete until around 2030, which might sound like a long time, but airplanes took about 16 years to really get up and running, and the first high-speed rail in Japan took at least a decade of development, so some 15 years for a Hyperloop doesn't seem that far off. The test combined Hyperloop components including vacuum, propulsion, levitation, sled, control systems, tube, and structures. As of May 2019, the company had raised $400 million. Its publicly stated goal is to launch commercial operations by year 2030. The Hyperloop is one of Tesla's CEO Elon Musk's many ambitious endeavors. Like a futuristic maglev train, the transportation system would shuttle freight and people quickly over long distances. In addition to installing Hyperloop routes for statewide travel, Musk thinks it would also be useful on Mars. The basic idea of Hyperloop as envisioned by Elon Musk is that passenger pods or capsules travel through a tube either above or below ground to reduce friction most but not all number seven automatic mobile capsules high-speed transportation is a growing concern to develop high speed on road highway and to increase high speed efficiencies the idea of automobile car capsules was introduced up to 10 passenger sitting capacity Transportation starts up to solar-powered electric vehicles are almost ready to hit the road. A car is traveling with a speed of 20 km per hour. It acquires the velocity of 30 km per hour in 5 seconds. The future of transportation involves moving into new, smarter sources of energy, modes of transport, and physical and technological infrastructure to support these transportation innovations. To conclude, the car of the future, built according to a new model, will be electric, autonomous, and connected. It will bring a number of benefits to society, less pollution. Number 8 Bell Nexus a full-scale design of Bell Nexus Air Taxi Free X concept at CES. After showcasing its flying taxi last year, helicopter manufacturer Bell has returned to unveil a full-scale redesign of its aircraft at CES 2020. The new Nexus Free X removes two rotor ducts and adds a purely electric propulsion option. The 7,000-pound aircraft can hit speeds of up to 150 mph and features Bell's signature powered lift concept with four tilting ducted fans that can be configured as hybrid electric. That's two less than the six rotor ducts proposed for the original Nexus Evtol, which according to Bell, reduces drag and is, therefore, more efficient in cruise mode. Bell Nexus carrying four to five passengers, plus a pilot.it will have a range of up to 60 nautical miles at top speed. Number 9 Pop-Up Airbus Pop-Up system consists of a three-layers concept, an artificial intelligence platform that, based on its user knowledge, manages the travel complexity, offering alternative usage scenarios, and assuring a seamless travel experience. A vehicle shaped as a passenger capsule, designed to be coupled with two different and independent electric-propelled modules, 
the ground module, and the air. Other public means of transportation e.g. trains or hyperloops could also integrate the pop-up capsule, an interface module that dialogues with users in a fully virtual environment. The pop-up vehicle combines the flexibility of a small two-seater ground vehicle with the freedom and speed of a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL air vehicle, thus bridging the automotive and an aerospace domains. Pop-up's modus operandi is simple. Passengers plan their journey and book their trip via an easy-to-use app. Number 10 Self-Driving Cars A self-driving car, also known as an autonomous vehicle, driverless car, or robotic car, a car incorporating vehicular automation, that is, a ground vehicle that's capable of sensing its environment, and moving safely with little or no human input. Although Tesla calls the system, full self-driving is not, in a literal sense, fully self-driving. Instead, it is a level 2 autonomous system that requires the driver to pay significant attention to the road ahead and have at least one hand touching the steering wheel. How exactly do self-driving cars work? Engineers have been attempting prototypes of self-driving cars for decades. The idea behind it's really simple. Outfit a car with cameras that can track all the objects around it and have the car react if it's about to steer into one. Teach in car computers the rules of the road and set them loose to navigate to their own destination. Self-driving vehicles employ a wide range of technologies like radar, cameras, ultrasound, and radio antennas to navigate safely on our roads. AI software in the car is connected to all the sensors and collects input from Google Street View and video cameras inside the car. The AI simulates human perceptual and decision-making processes, using deep learning and controls actions in driver control systems, such as steering and brakes. Autonomous cars collect data with the help of various sensors fitted in them, like cameras, LiDAR, and radar. This data is transmitted back to the cloud. Sensor data, autonomous vehicles, but also normal vehicles contain sensors that collect data about the vehicle's operation and its surroundings, including cameras or dash cams front, rear, and side. Cameras radar, thermal imaging devices, and light detection and ranging LiDAR devices that collect data in the streets. The connected vehicle concept vehicle to vehicle V2V and vehicle to infrastructure V2I devices communicate via radio signals, which are omnidirectional, offer 360 degrees of coverage. V2X exchanges are non-networked and have the ability to provide very fast known as low latency communications. Imagine getting into your car, typing or, better yet speaking a location into your vehicle's interface, then letting it drive you to your destination while you read a book, surf the web, or nap. Self-driving vehicles, the stuff of science fiction since the first roads were paved, are coming, and they're going to radically change what it's like to get from point A to point B. With the adoption of any new revolutionary technology, it is predicted there will be problems for businesses that don't adjust fast enough to future developments in self-driving car technology. Futurists estimate that hundreds of billions of dollars, if not trillions, will be lost by automakers, suppliers, dealers, insurers, parking companies, and many other car-related enterprises. And think of the lost revenue for governments via licensing fees, taxes, and tolls, and by personal injury lawyers and health insurers. The auto industry has been working on autonomous driving for years, and companies like Waymo and Cruise are testing fully autonomous driving in some cities. Thanks for watching. For more updates, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.